Hello and welcome to Gex TV. Today I will show you how to download VMOS Pro for Android version 12 and above. Watch the video as I show the full instructions and troubleshooting guide. To start off, let's go to the VMOS website to download the APK file installer. Medyo mahaba haba ito kaya watch watch ka muna dyan tapos mag mekes mekes muna ako sa kusina. Di pa kasi ako kumakain eh. Now click on VMOS Pro Download. Once it's done, click the file and enable Chrome browser to install unknown sources. Follow the video at nang baka mekes mekes ka na insan. At pag nakita mo ito, Huwag kang matatakot. Isa lang tong babala kung alam mo ba talaga ang pinaggagagawa mo insan. Acknowledge mo lang and click OK. Follow mo lang ang video. Ipapakita ko ang buong steps by steps. I got you covered insan. This is the part that you need to enable developer options because of the Android 12 operating system. Still, watch the video carefully. Pwede mo din siya balik-balikan kung medyo mabilis insan. Di kagaya ng ex mo. To enable wireless debugging, you will need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Otherwise, wala di siya gagana na maayos. Or need mo nakakonect via USB sa PC. Pero mas maganda kung makakakonect ka sa Wi-Fi kahit isang beses lang. Just to activate VMOS Pro.
Once you click on pair with pairing code, a notification will show and you have to tap on the Chinese letter and as shown the video. Make sure that VMOS Pro is activated and check for updates for VMOS Pro. Click Updates and Install. Allow VMOS Pro to install a known source. Then watch and follow the video again. Since your operating system version is Android 12 and above, download the Android 9.0 Lite ROM. At sundan ulit ang video mga insan. Mekes mekes na natin to. In this part, it is optional to extract your apps to VMOS Pro. But some apps may not work so it's still recommended to download apps from the Play Store in VMOS Pro. Pero ikaw bahala, basta ako mamaya na ako maglalagay ng apps. Sundan mo na lang ulit yung video insan. Here you can change your CPU. I recommend to use the default so it can match the performance of your phone specifications. From here, you can enable the things that you will use for the emulator. Depends on how you will use VMOS Pro. This is where you can change the screen size and also the rotation of your phone. It's up to you if it's enable or off.
Now we should enable Google services so you can download apps and games for your VMOS Pro. Once done, we can open the emulator Android 9.0 Lite. Tap on the play icon. Before you sign into Google Play Store, make sure that it's on the latest version, so you won't keep on signing in multiple times. Watch the video again as I show it to you in San. If your Play Store can't update, you can shut down the emulator and also reboot your phone or keep on trying to update it under settings. Or try to sign in and enter your email for now. Watch again the video in San. Here, my Play Store app crash. It's because when I tried to sign in, the updates for my Play Store went through. Then the screen got black. It's okay. It's normal. Check the Play Store settings and updates then sign in again. Now that I am signed in, I can download apps that I want in my VMOS Pro Android emulator. The purpose of this video is to use an older version of Android since not all apps are compatible with the latest version of Android. Sanay natuwa ka sa video na ito at mag-subscribe sa channel ko. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang Pilipinas!